It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've been after this beer for six, seven, maybe even a year. I was going to say six months, seven months, probably about a year. This is Hamilton Brewery's Crunch Peanut Butter Milk Stout. Why have I been after this beer for a year? Then it fell off my radar. And when I seen it in my local bottle shop, why did I immediately pick it up? I just like the sound of it. I like the look of the can, it appeals to me. So I was super excited when it was three pounds 50, I thought, yeah, we'll have one of those. Hamilton Brewery based in London. I think they've done a fantastic job with the naming and the branding and the can art on this 330 milliliter can. Without further ado then, let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass. Now I've had the tailgate beer in America, the tailgate, um, I think that was a, a, a peanut butter stout as well. I like that from tailgate and funnily enough, in my local bottle shop, this was sitting next to the tailgate. And I thought, how ironic, I've had the tailgate, wanted to try this crunch from Hamilton for a long time. And here it is in Cardiff, eight miles down the road. Only went there because my daughter had a dentist appointment in the hospital. So I dropped them off and went to the bottle shop around the corner. And there it was, sitting next to the beer that I reviewed, the tailgate beer. And this is Hamilton's version, called Crunch. So jet black beer in the glass, we got a one finger tan coloured head. Slow moving carbonation, but there's no light bleeding through this glass of beer whatsoever. Jet black beer in the glass. It looks great when you roll that beer around in the glass. I'm going to say, I don't kind of these days go through my beer reviews on YouTube, whether I've reviewed any Hamilton beers in the past, but I think this might be my first ever Hamilton brewery beer also. So let's hope it's good. Let's get the aroma. That's just incredible. It's not just good. That aroma is brilliant. From a person who can give a give or take peanut butter on toast, I only say that because my wife has peanut butter on toast at least twice a week and I'm like nah I'll have regular butter thanks but in beer peanut butter in a, in a stout is like different class different level different thing altogether this smells so peanutty and wonderful wonderful I think the reason why they call this crunch is because you have two different types of peanut butter. You have smooth and crunchy. And this actually smells like crunchy peanut butter. Oh, it smells amazing from the roasted malt to the biskiness and the breadiness of the malts in the beer to that wonderful peanut butter aroma. I'm ready to dive in. I wish I bought my wife a glass a, a can of this now I just bought myself one cheers so far i've been extremely positive about the beer i'm going to give a slight negative now it's not too much of a negative. It's a little bit of an itty bitty kind of negative here. But immediately, I wanted this peanut butter stout to follow through with a big creamy oatiness and to be big and thick and bold. It's a little bit like a dry Irish stout where it's a little bit thin for my liking. But putting that to one side, it's a wonderful, wonderful tasting beer. It 
it has a really nice mouthfeel. In fact, for that 5.4% ABV, let's double check that, 5.4% yeah, ABV, I think it's got the right amount of mouthfeel. And I will take back my previous comment. I'm not afraid to do that. I think sometimes in life, you need to take a second taste of your beer just to really concrete and, and, and shore up your your own kind of thought into into what you really think about the beer. If I'm being perfectly honest, and I've not looked at their website, and they may have done this on a personal level, I think they should make an imperial version of this and just stick it out. Make a make a eight, nine, ten, even up to twelve percent ABV double crunch, double peanut butter imperial stout, but smash it with oats, absolutely smash it with oats, and this very beer, which is excellent, excellent quality beer here, would be just another level completely. I hope they've already done it. I hope they've already kind of had a bit of success with this beer and they've gone yeah okay let's let's double crunch this and, and let's let's make an imperial version of this with loads of oats in fact after the beer review i'll probably go and check to see if they they've done that i wouldn't be surprised if they if they have like a limited release or something like that it's creamy it's biscuity it's bready there's so much peanut butter coming from this beer you can tell when i'm enjoying a beer on the channel because i'm generally kind of doing a bit of talking i'm doing a lot of sipping already if the beer was up to here i've already drunk half of the beer in the space of a few minutes so that's a sign to you guys that i'm really really enjoying this really enjoying it have a look at the beers i'm washing it around in the glass you can see that kind of carbonation chasing the head of the glass. It's recreating the head and the lacing on the glass, on the beer. It's, it's... I think what they probably did was they probably enjoyed the tailgate beer, made their own in a test batch, stuck it up to their, maybe their tap room if they have one. And then everybody probably loved it. And then they went ahead then to speak to their marketing team about coming up with, with a great name for the beer and great can art. It's definitely a milk stout. There's cows everywhere fighting with peanuts, which is just brilliant. Uh, sometimes a beer can be sold by its can. And sometimes a beer can be sold by the beer, but not the can. The can is just a an object where the beer is stored in. A vat where the beer is stored in. This has a bit of both. The artwork on the can is brilliant. The beer in the glass is excellent kind of backs each other up whether you whether you like branding whether you you give a monkeys about branding or whether you don't give a monkeys about branding at the end of the day the beer is superb it really is small i mean i'm 42 now so i'm gonna have to like close my eyes a little bit to read this writing it's very small uh when our founder knew he was expecting his first child he wanted to create a special beer to celebrate the birth of baby mike michaela michelle on oh, i'm just completely offended the brewer now that's it i'll never hear from him again um my apologies guys i i can't the the, the letters are really small so after 37 experiments, this stout that what has what we consider to be the perfect ratio of peanut butter, lactose and biscuit. A massive hit of roasted peanut on the nose, 
followed by a silky smooth mouthfeel and a sweet crunch as it goes down. Ingredients, uh, water, barley, oat, lactose, hops, yeast and peanut. It's a brilliant beer. Habison Brewery. It's a brilliant, brilliant beer. It really, really is. Um, I've looked for this beer for such a long time. I've managed to now find this beer. I'm over the moon that I found this beer. And it's as good as... Well, I don't know. It was a year ago. Was I reading tweets about this beer a year ago? Probably, because I've probably seen... And unless I just kind of seen the artwork for the beer or the release of this beer. And I was like, whoa, I fancy that one. Um, but it turns out that I really like it. And I like it enough to give it... I still hope they make an imperial version of of, of crunch, but um, yeah, with loads of oats, not lactose. Um, but yeah, nine out of ten for me. Nine out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. It's a really good beer. Hope you like the review. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.